Now is absolutely the perfect time to get your social media-ish in order. And that's exactly what we're doing. I am taking you right from ground zero and we're working our way up. And this week's episode is all about how to plan a social media strategy. We're doing this in two parts. Episode 149 part one starts right now. Hey there, welcome to the Laura Shipman Show. We hang out here weekly to talk about things like social media, entrepreneurship, marketing, tools, strategies, tips, and it all starts right now. Hey there, before we get started with this show, I just want to share my passion with you. I love teaching people just like you how to master social media for business, breaking it down into easy to consume and easy to execute steps so that you can see immediate results. So whether you want to start a social media consultancy or grow your brand's presence on social media, I can help. I can help you get started and master all the things that you need to know. So I want you to go over to my website. It is filled with resources, tools, tips, and courses. Visit laurashipman.com. That's L-O-R-A shipman.com to get all the goods. Now you ready for the show? I know I am. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I am so thrilled that you're here because like I said, we are going back to basics, back to ground zero, and we are going to work our way up. So if you missed episode 147, listen to that one first and then come back here and listen to 149 because we go through some really foundational things in episode 147 that you need in order to set up your strategy, which which is what we're going to do today. Okay, so let's dive in. This episode is actually going to be broken up into two parts because we're going through a lot of detail and I want to make sure that you can consume it all. So go ahead, grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's just get started. So social media strategy. I'm going to be super transparent here. When I first started in social media way back when, I was completely overwhelmed by that phrase. Social media strategy, it sounded like so much bigger than me and it sounded like a huge ordeal that I needed to go through in order to perfect social media. But when I thought about it for a little bit, I figured out a way to break it down so it wasn't so intimidating and I'm going to share that with you so that you can be on that page too and you can just go ahead and execute it. All right. So the first part of this is step one and that is what is your plan. The first part of building a strategy is to define your social media goals, determine what you can focus on that will support your overall marketing plan and your overall business plan for the year. Now I have a little bit of a spoiler alert for you. If you don't have an annual plan for your business or a marketing plan for your business, you're not going to get anywhere with your social media, right? Actually, you'll probably feel like you're spinning your wheels. You will fail if you don't have these plans in place first, because imagine this, you have no plan, so you have no idea what path you're supposed to be taking with social media. So if you don't have a plan, go back and think about that. Think about where you want to be at the end of 2020. Think about how you're going to make that happen. And the how is going to be your marketing plan. And imagine your marketing plan as being this huge pie and you divide that up into different sections. Well, social media is going to be one of those sections of your marketing plan, right? It can't be the only marketing plan. It has to have other things that support it, but it can be some of the overall marketing plan. It can be a very big piece of the overall marketing plan. It just can't be the only thing. Okay, so step two is setting goals for your social media marketing plan. So assuming that we've set the business plan and we've set the marketing plan for your business for the year, now it's time for you to determine how social media is going to do its part, how social media is going to pull its weight in the overall marketing plan. So there are some goals that you can set for yourself on social media to make sure that these, that you hit them, right? Sometimes people aren't always sure like, well, what does that goal look like for social media. Well, let me take you through a couple. The first one is brand awareness. Brand awareness is just people knowing that your brand is out there and that you've got a pulse. So that could be a huge part of getting people to the other portions of your marketing plan. If people are aware of you, then maybe you can market to them a little bit more effectively. 
The second one is audience engagement. If you increase audience engagement and you get them talking with you and you get them to know, like, and trust you, again, that can help you hit your overall business goals. Number three, measuring click-throughs or traffic to websites or landing pages could be another goal. How many of those do you need a month in order for you to hit your overall goals? Another thing you could measure is subscribers or email list signups. How many people do you want to get on your list and how many people do you want to impact off of social media through email marketing where you can nurture relationships? Impactful collaborations is another one. What if you decided to to collaborate with two new people a month to help get your message out there? Will that help you meet your overall business plan? And then another thing you could measure is how many downloads a month of your lead magnet are you getting through social media? Maybe you set a goal where you get 10 people to download your lead magnet because of social media content you put out there. And then another measurement you can do is reach the total number of people who see your content. This could be a really important measurement for you and your business because it will tell you how many new eyeballs are seeing your content and interacting with your brand. So all of these things are important, but you just need to find the ones that make the most sense for you and the goals that you have set for your business for 2020. Okay. So now that we've got some goals to work with, there's other ones too. Those are just some pretty popular ones that people use, but when selecting your goals, it's important to take some time to ensure they're sound goals for your business. And to do that, I recommend using the, and I'm putting it in air quotes, smart goal system. Using smart goals is a really good way to determine how sound your overall goal goal is. So to understand what a SMART goal is, it's an acronym. So I'm going to go through each part of the acronym so you know what it means. So the S stands for specific. Are you measuring something that is super specific that you're laser focused on? The M starts for measurable. So if there's something that you're focusing on, can you measure it? Can you set benchmarks? Can you set numbers to hit? The A is achievable. Is it really realistic that the numbers or the goals that you're putting together, is it achievable? If not, you're going to burn out and you're not going to be able to achieve it. And then you'll probably just give up. The R is, is it relevant? Is it really relevant to your business? Is it relevant to your overall business goals? Is it relevant to your marketing plan? Like ask those questions. And then the T is time bound can you put a time on it? So can you measure something to take place within a month? Can you measure the goals to take place within a quarter? Whatever you are measuring, just make sure that you can put a time to it and a deadline to it so that you can see if your efforts are paying off. If you can answer those five things for the social media goal you've selected, you will be on your way, I promise you, to achieving what you've set out to for your social media account. All right, so that's a lot of foundational work that you need to look at. I really recommend that we take a break here and that you download the planner that I put in the show notes. It'll have all this stuff included in it that we've spoken about and take the time to really fill it out and organize it and be laser focused about it because this is your business that you're talking about and it's also your potential income. So go ahead, download that tool and then come back for part two, which will be episode 150. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey there. I just want to say thank you for spending time with me here today. I know your time is super valuable, which is why I am dedicated to providing lots of usable, actionable information in the shortest amount of time possible. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future episode. And if you have ideas or topics you would like me to cover in an upcoming show, let me know about it in the comment section provided. 